James Cook University is a public um, Australian university. Um, it has main campuses in the tropical north of Australia, in the tropical cities of Townsville and Cairns, and it also has a campus, an international campus, in Singapore. So the actual geographic location of the university is really significant for us. It allows students to have access to field sites in the tropical world, in Asia, in the Pacific, and we have students working in places like Papua New Guinea, Micronesia, um, and in Southeast Asia, in Thailand, in Laos, um, in Bangladesh, um, and also we have students who work in South America. A hallmark of JCU is our collaborations with Indigenous communities and I think this really sets apart our anthropology program from many others in metropolitan centres. The tropics globally faces huge issues, you know, we've got issues of climate change, uh, we've got economic and political social justice issues. It is not so much groups that make war. James Cook University focus for our research really looks at the kinds of political, social, economic issues that face people living in the, in the tropics. Uh, JCU is, as we go forward is that bringing it all under one banner and, and, and actually having a, a cooperative um, approach to this tropical research. All of the anthropology staff and social science staff are research active and have close and active relationships with indigenous communities in different parts of the tropical zone and all of those research projects create unique opportunities for students to get involved at each stage of the research project. My research topic I wanted to study was Aboriginal activism and Townsville was really the perfect place to do that. Um, there were good supervisors for me to work with and Townsville was the site of um, Eddie Mabo's native title uh, court claim in 1992. For, um, which was the first time that native title was recognised in Australia. So there's been a, a history of Aboriginal activism. I've started doing my PhD research uh, uh, two years ago on uh, an Indigenous uh, community north of here uh, with the Gugu Jalanji people. They're very involved in the whole process and, and I think that's a difference uh, that is, is very fruitful. I started filming because the Alanji people approached me when I said, I'm starting a PhD, is there any particular things you guys would like to get out of this? And they said, we'd like to make a movie. You know what happened? There were them high school girls, there were And uh, what became clear was that they really wanted to document things before elders passed away. We place a great emphasis on research integrated learning in our teaching in anthropology, archaeology, sociology. Um, Research integrated learning for us is learning which is based on providing students with the ability to actually learn to do research as they're learning. So they learned through doing actual research itself. The Tropical Archaeology Research Laboratory here at JCU is unique in all the world. One of the things we realised was that being situated in the tropics we had a unique opportunity to study the archaeology and the pasts of people who live in the tropics and this kind of thing has never been a focus anywhere else in the world so in order to access that critical mass of scholarship uh, on tropical archaeology we created the Tropical Archaeology Research Laboratory as a think tank to focus research efforts amongst staff and students and we're already reaping the rewards of that in terms of much more focused research projects and better outcomes for the Indigenous communities we work with. One of the things that um, we've been running for many years is, is the Rock Art Field School and it's an opportunity for students to learn a little bit about anthropology and archaeology um, in, in a practical sense. I'm a linguist and I'm working on various uh, aspects of human language and how uh, human cognition is refre reflected in language structure. The main, main feature of linguistics or anthropological linguistics which is the same thing at uh, uh, James Cook University is uh, that it is oriented towards inductive studies of languages of the world and how they're embedded culturally. We're able to use JCU as a platform to integrate scholars with a shared interest in the tropics in order to address some of these big questions in the world, uh, including human evolution. Who we're... And I think it's really exciting to have these global questions in areas that have virtually been unresearched. And I think given the development pressures on the tropical zone and on Indigenous communities, it's one of the most pressing questions for anthropology today.